There is another type of analysis in CPW, and we call it a plan view analysis. It's a plan view analysis. This view is not used all that much, and this analysis type does have some limitations. But in certain cases, it can actually provide quite meaningful results. In a case like this, where we might have some isolated relief wells below the toe of an embankment, then the question is, what should be the spacing of the wells? This is a true three-dimensional problem, and CPW does not have true three-dimensional capability except in an axisymmetric analysis, but that's only good for one well. So we can, however, approximate the fact of the well spacing with a plan view analysis. In this particular case here, what we are doing is we are going to look at the spacing of these wells and look at what effect it has as to how much seepage goes past the wells and how much is captured by the wells. Note here that the tip of the well, the tip of the well is the same as what we have specified as the water level some distance downstream or downslope from this canal embankment, for example. Going then to GeoStudio and opening up the file Relief Well Spacing. And if you are in Define View and under the first analysis, you should see this view. At the top of the diagram here, we have simply sketched uh, the uh, problem in the isometric view. But notice now that the mesh is not in a plane, in a vertical plane. The mesh is a horizontal plane and we're looking down from the top on this mesh. Along this edge here we will specify a total head equal to 13 meters. Along this edge, we will specify a total head equal to 7 meters. And here we have wells. And we are going to simulate the effect of the wells with a boundary condition by specifying the head in the wells in, at certain of these points. We have two flux sections here. And we're going to monitor the amount of flow that crosses these two flux sections as we have more and more wells. Going to the results view, under the first analysis, number one, we have no wells. We have points here. These are geometric points down the center line but we have not specified any boundary conditions. Notice in this case, the amount of flow across this section is equal to the amount of flow across this section, and that is because the gradient, the gradient is a constant from the left to the right. And so because the areas are the same and the gradient is the same on both sides, the amount of flow is the same across both flux sections. If we then go to the second analysis, we have a well spacing of 50 meters. This is 50 meters. And there's a well here, and there's a well here. And if you compare these two numbers, we notice that on the right is a little bit less than on the left, meaning that the two wells are capturing a little bit of the flow, but a lot of the flow is passing on between the two wells. Going then to the 25 meter spacing, we see now that more of this flow 
more of the flow is being captured by the wells because on the left we have a higher rate. The higher rate is coming about because the water is now being drawn down to this level over a shorter distance. So we now have a higher gradient to the well. As a result, we have increased flow, uh, which is an interesting side comment that the wells themselves increase the gradient and therefore increase the flow into the wells. But nonetheless, we still see that there is certain significant amount of flow passing between the wells. And so forth, we have a 10 meter spacing. And now we notice that even at a 10 meter spacing, not a lot of the flow is, is passing the wells, but there is still some flow going between the wells. And we finally go to a five meter spacing and there is precious little of the flow that is going past the wells. A tiny amount, but a five meter spacing would be quite effective in capturing most of the flow. Finally, the perfect well, which is the wells are all connected as in a trench case, and then of course no flow gets past the trench. Notice this extremely small number here it is in essence zero. So here is an example of how you might use a plan view. It, I know it is uh, somewhat an oversimplification of the case, but relatively speaking, it nonetheless gives a very effective picture of what the effect of well spacing is in a case like this. So there is a simple example to illustrate how CPW can be used to do a plan view analysis and capture a pretty good picture of the relative effectiveness of something like a, re like a relief well.